All right, guys, today we got a patch for the finals. It's addressing aim assist. Um, I think a lot of people in the community, myself included, have been waiting for this. A lot of people are upset. A lot of people are happy. I'm going to try to dive in, read some of these patch notes, go over my, um, my thoughts, first impressions. And honestly, I'm baffled, bro. We have, what's the six talking points? And the fact of the matter is, just to think about what people were dealing with, bro, like Zoom snapping. This doesn't even sound correct. Like, this doesn't even sound legit, bro. Zoom snapping, bro? Then you're telling me that people on aim assist, a.k.a. Roller, was getting unattended rapid 90-degree turns? We all seen the clips on TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, and even live on Twitch when you see controller players. Someone will fall off a building. From the top of the building straight down, someone won't even know what's happening. The fucking body come down. And the, the, the aimer, whoosh! 90 degrees, right on top of them. It's like, bro, what the... F oh, that was luck. You ever seen one of the clip when one person shoot one person and another guy runs past and then he instantly snaps on to the second person? Well, there you have it. 90 degree snaps. Boom. Zoom snapping. They also have aim snapping in the setting. Then you got fucking magnetism in the game where your fucking aimer will magnetize the players and have a 50% effectiveness on sticky aim, bro. Like, you're telling me controllers had sticky aim. And this is the kind of things that controller players get. And we're talking about what's fair and what's unfair. Sticky aim. Magnetism. Where your camera magnetized the players. Zoom snapping. You're telling me you had a third of a second of getting free shots. A third of a second of hitting free shots. That's insane. Instead of having a third, it's a fourth now. Um... What's this? Um, oh, yeah. So you got snap aim and fucking zoom aim on the single, sh the semi-automatic weapons, including the shotgun, which is insane. Have you ever seen videos with people LT spam? That's why. Then you have fucking, you're telling me pre post-patch, well, pre-patch, excuse me, pre-patch, if someone was invisible, right? Because people say, oh, invisibility needs a nerf, which I think it does, to be honest, but whatever. People on Cachola had an even easier time dealing with cloak players because your fucking aim reticule will stick on invisible players. You're invisible in a bush and you walk in, and someone walks by and they get a little sticky aim or the camera would just hit a 90 degree turn and magnetize to the player in the bush. You knew they was invisible. Well, that's how they knew you was there. A lot of people, how did he know I was there? Yo, does cloak not work? Well, he's on controller. <laughs> Duh. Then you got the people... That fucking break into fucking clients and remap their key bonds and use programs and get Zims and Chronos and Rewastas. Bitch made player. I mean, if you want controller on your PC, you're bitch made, bro. That's just to keep it true. It's already been said multiple times. But, you know, some people, the people that we look up to can't say it because they have sponsors. A lot of their viewers and audience are on controller, so they can't say certain shit. But come on, let's just call a spade a spade. You have a $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 rig. And you choose to use your DS4 DuraShop 4 controller to get the best of you, the best exploit possible, your aim assist. We all know what it is. You're a bitch. That's just what it is. But people can't call it out because there's more bitches than real people. So it's like you can't go to like imagine going to a fucking a, a, a vegan rally. You know what I'm saying? Where no one eats meat. Everyone thinks alike. Everyone is there. And you're trying to, like, preach chicken, you know what I'm saying, or cheeseburgers or whatever. Everyone's going to come at you with mob mentality and just start flaming your life choices and whatever you stand for. So you can't, you know what I'm saying? That's basically what this is because we already know over 60% of the community are on controller for multiple reasons. You have the people that's competitive, right? You use this for a fucking advantage because you already have the game sense, the experience, and the IQ of a good player, right? You already have decent aim. Now, you get to go a next level with your decent aim, your decent brain power, and have AI help you out. It's basically a two versus one at that point. And we already seen this with Hal. Imperial Hal from Apex slayed the competition or fucking held his own on mouse and key for two years in a professional setting. My man switches over to a controller, literally beats his kill record, and wins first place with less than six months practicing on controller. That speaks volumes to anyone with a certain IQ. However, if you're a random shitter, you know, when you go on Twitter, you go on Discord, oh, my aim assist don't do that. And if, you know a shitter when they say this. 
But hey, you have your whole arm to move. You have your whole hand. You have a big mouse pad. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like, I still have to do everything myself. I have to control all 10 of my fingers. I have to use my fucking brain. I have to control my arm and my wrist. I have to worry about my arm sliding off the desk to hit these shots. Meanwhile, you guys have rotational aim assistance, recoil smothering, snap aim, sticky aim, magnetism. You have so many things, and all you need to use is one thumb and a pointer finger. That's it. You ever seen the clips where people don't even use their right thumbstick? They literally just use their left thumbstick to move left. If the target moves left, if the target moves right, they use their left finger to move their left pointer finger. To move right in the game with rotational aim assist will literally do the rest. It's like literally using 10% of your brain as far as gaming goes. Like, <clears throat> so it's like, yo, this, like who will be having this conversation with? And why does this war, like, like, why is this war still going on? Like, why do we even choose to like respond to the idiots inside Twitter or Discord that don't play on both inputs a lot of people that say these ignorant claims they haven't never played mouse and key they don't even know what it feels like to hit their own shots so why do we like speak to them i don't know today patch comes out i go on discord i want to read the feedback i see people you know clapping up for the aim assist nerf mostly mouse and key players obviously and then you have the fucking controller shitters oh um the pc players cry so much they nerfed it or i'm quitting this game or maybe i should try mouse and key all this stupidity. Bro, if they nerf aim assist for everyone, what are you complaining at? Everyone no longer has fucking aim assist or strong aim assist. You're playing against other controller players with the same assistance. You can literally fucking escape mouse and key lobbies. Crossplay off. Now you're going to get a bunch of controller players. Y'all all on the same level. If there's no aim assist in the game at all and you're on controller, you're going to get somebody else. A, you're versus somebody else on a controller with no aim assist at all. So it comes down... So who has the more precision and skills on the sticks? Why are you guys complaining? Now, in retrospect, us keyboard players, we don't have that luxury. We have to deal with fucking snap aim, magnetize, sticky aim, 90 degree turns, wasta, re wasta, script, um, scripts. We can't escape it. Our crossplay don't go off. Why? Because if we take our crossplay off, when we on PC lobbies against other PC shitters that can't aim, they plug in their controller. We cannot escape the controller aim assist. So now, only thing we can do is what Hal did. Go to controller and compete. If you can't beat him, join him. However, sometimes controller, it just isn't fun. It, it, it like it's, it, Controller's not fun. It all looks the same. It feels the same. You one clipping, your cinematic shot in, movement is real stiff. It's just not, it's like not dynamic. You know what I'm saying? This shit is whack to watch, whack to play. It's fucking boring. We want to test our skill selling. We want to learn. We want to pat ourselves on the back. We want to get the dorphines and get the dopamine going when we hit our shots ourselves. We don't want no one help. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all motherfuckers want to ride your bikes with training wheels. Some of us don't get no thrill on that. You feel me? We want to turn those corners and we want to control our balance. You know what I mean? And now with this buff, hopefully we get this, we get more of that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I didn't want to go on a rant. I know I did. I can't help it. I'm a real passionate player. Like I said, I've been on controller for 20 years. I didn't made money in Halo, Shadowrun. <clears throat> I fucking already went through the controller methods. You know what I'm saying? And again, aim assist is not the same aim assist from 15 years ago. 15 years ago, motherfuckers would never compete against uh, mouse and key. And I know because I've been there. Like, oh, these guys on mouse and key? I'm out. Like, hell no. However, now, these days, no one even care if you're on mouse and key. GG, loser, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers actively turn their crossplay on and go against mouse and key players like no one's business. You know what I mean? Now, however, I've been in the Apex community for some good time, right? And this last thing I want to say, I see people talk about my, uh, PC lobbies, PC lobbies, PC lobbies. Yes, PC lobbies are better. Yes, they're more sweatier. Why? Because people that spent two, $3,000 on PC are t tend to be more sweaty because it's their passion, they're committed, it's their hobby, and nine times out of ten to even fucking get into the PC world, you have to be somewhat kind of smart. You know what I'm saying? When you're going on console lobbies, you're going against fucking nine-year-olds, seven-year-olds. You catch my son on console. My, my son have a fucking Xbox. You know what I mean? You go play against him. Then my best friends in real life that don't play games as sweaty as me, these niggas be on the phone with their girl playing the game. They be fucking listening to music. They be in party chat while someone's watching Netflix. Someone else is on Gears. 
like it's a bunch of casuals on console. So yes, I get the I get the conversation, but at the same time, it's idiotic because the PC lobbies are not sweaty because they have mouse and key. Most of these niggas on PC are bitches. They on controller. It's more sweaty because they have their undivided attention with their 27 hertz monitor. I mean, 27 inch monitor, fucking 300 hertz, and their crazy gaming setup and fucking IEMs in their ear. Not talking about me. And they're locked in, but they're on controller. So that's what makes it sweatier. It's not the input. I mean, it's not the fucking system or the platform. It's the input. Duh. But anyway, yeah, I went on a rant. But anyway, we keep having this conversation with people that don't need to be in it. If you haven't played both platforms, shut the fuck up. Don't leave no comments below. If you play both platforms and you're exceptionally decent in mouse and key and controller, leave your feedback in the comment section below. I honestly think they should do input matchmaking. Me personally, I think input matchmaking would be the best thing. Or they should just remove aim assist altogether. You see how R6 and Rainbow is? I mean, sorry, um, R6 and Overwatch? Like, just remove the fucking aim assist. No big deal. Separate the cues.